What is going on people? Today we're going to go ahead and hunt some level 5 Cottage Roar just to see what heroes are the best on it. Now I know that uh, for the most part the regular physical heroes would do good but there's always some min and maxing that you will have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and port over to this level 5. I'm going to port behind it because if you uh, hit a, a monster behind it you actually do more damage. That's actually a lie though. Uh, anyway, let's, okay, let me take a look, because when you actually take a look at this, it says strong against, it, they still haven't fixed this, but basically it's saying to use uh, physical attackers, damage type is magic, and it says it will deal massive damage to its target and nearby heroes, nearby heroes, which makes me think if he used like a demon slayer, would it, would it only target the demon slayer since, hmm, I, I will have to test that. Bring healers and heroes with high magic defense to help keep your party alive. Then use physical attacks to demolish this monster. So basically it's telling you that it's going to do... It, well, it should be doing a decent amount of damage to where you should be relying on healers. I guess we're going to see. I have yet to actually hit a level 5. So we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a 50 boost. And um, we're going to just try a couple of different combinations. But we also do have to keep in mind that each time I hit it, I do get a damage buff. So, unless the damage is notice noticeable, noticeably higher, it's probably not that much better of a, uh, of a team. So, let's take a look. Um, this team is like my regular physical one, but I'm going to take out a couple of heroes. Number one, Tracker. I'm going to take out Tracker because Tracker has no life leech, meaning that every time Tracker does damage, she doesn't actually heal herself like a Femme Fatale, etc. would. So I'm going to take her out and I'm going to add her because she does lower defense and um, I guess... You know, Ethereal Guide wouldn't actually be a bad one because she does lower magic damage. Um, from enemies and lowers their magic crit. So maybe I, I, I'm gonna have to try that in a bit But let's use death archer and let's just see how much I do in the first hit if we do somewhere like in the 1% That might that might not be bad. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see 1.22% that is not bad Honestly, it's not bad for a first hit. Okay, let's see exactly how this all goes down uh, Oh my god, that is a lot of damage. Holy uh, this is why Tracker is probably not going to be the greatest because Tracker will not heal herself like they're healing themselves right now. That, that's actually quite a lot of damage. Do I actually lose a hero? Femme Fatale is really good at healing herself though. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like, oh, I lost Femme Fatale. Okay, that's not good. Hmm. How do I not have that happen again? Honestly, I feel like Ethereal Guide, I'm losing heroes left and right. I really want to try, oh my god, I lost another one. So the 1.22% I thought was good, but apparently not. If I can do something to keep those two alive. Oh, the third one's about to go down, even though it's at the end, but still. Okay, I lost three heroes, well technically two, because the third one barely made a difference, but... I really want to try out Ethereal Guide to see if it'll help with the damage. Because, like I mentioned before, Ethereal Guide is great against things that uh, use magic. So, for instance, reduces magic attack by 240. That's a passive, okay? That's already really good. Uh, reduces enemies' magic crit by 125. Absorbs 3,500 magic damage, which is amazing. Even the, the ultimate... Reduces enemies crit magic crit by 125. So honestly, instead of Death Archer, I'm going to use Ethereal Guide and see if that makes a difference as far as survivability. So let's take a look. The rest of the team though looks okay. 1.4. So that's, I mean, that's higher, but it's hard to tell if it's just because of the boost or if it's just because Ethereal Guide actually did make a difference. Let's see. Uh. Yo, Demon Slayer just takes such a huge beating at the beginning. Um, hmm. If I lose heroes, like, really early on, then I might think about... You know what I actually am thinking about now? 
we really should have a physical healer. You know what I mean? Like, because most healers, they're magic based, which kind of makes sense. But I would love. Oh, she almost died. I th I'm telling you, Ethereal Guy was what saved her right there. Um, but yeah, I would love a physical healer. I feel like that would be kind of dope. Oh, and then she still died. Even though she did, she did die much later. So Ethereal Guy definitely over Death Archer, just just purely because of survivability. Is there a way to have her heal more though, or to keep Femme Fatale up? Hmm. Oh wait, why didn't I think of this? Cursed Hunter. This is why you gotta keep trying different things. Cause Cursed Hunter has a heal. So technically she's not really a healer, but her heal might just be enough. This could be the comp right here. Let's uh let's give it a shot. So basically I have two two heroes here specifically for survivability, plus their damage is a plus. Uh, which is Curse Hunter and Ethereal Guide. Let's see how this goes down. 1.7. Yeah, I I think I think that this might be the better the better one, but we'll see if there's one that still goes down. Um, as usual, Demon Slayer is gonna take a lot of damage right at the start. But will Curse Hunter's heal actually be a difference maker here? Uh, like we saw before, Femme Fatale didn't go down until there was only like 10 seconds left or so, which is not bad, considering. Uh, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see what uh, Curse Hunter does here. Here we go. Demon Slayer is just so good here. He does so much damage and sustained. Oh! Oh! She's, is she still gonna die? Or is that heal gonna come in clutch? There's the heal! Oh, and it's, it still takes her down around the same time. So the Curse Hunter thing didn't really work the way that I would have wanted. Hmm. And the, the ones in the back line aren't really taking that much damage. So maybe Tracker would be beneficial since Tracker probably won't get targeted. This is why it's good to try this out. Demon Slayer for sure isn't taking anywhere near as much damage. So if if we don't put Femme Fatale down there and it's just Demon Slayer taking most of that damage, then maybe we can make that work. But let's try with Tracker because Tracker's probably not going to take much damage. Let's see. 1.72. 1.15. Okay. Yeah, Tracker is a definitely uh, uh, a complete skip. I just, yeah, it's for the same thing that I, I always said Tracker doesn't have any sort of life leech, so there's no way for herself to heal. Yeah, it's just not gonna be good. I lost so much damage, so tracker is a no-go in this hero. No tracker, look at this. There's no way that she can heal. She's already dead. Yeah, no, no, no. So tracker, absolutely unusable for this hero. Um, at least level 5. Like, if it's lower level where they don't do a lot of damage, then maybe tracker is fine, but not for the higher ones, for sure not. I want to try just with Demon Slayer and have, like, things in the back. Um, maybe him, just things that will do a decent amount of damage, and maybe Master Cook, just to stay at a distance, and maybe Demon Slayer be the only one that actually take damage, let's see how much this does, 1.79, that's not much of an increase from the other one, so let's see, I just want to see if, if they stay focused on Demon Slayer for the most part, or if it starts, um, targeting everything else, let's see, it looks like the, the Curse Hunter comp is definitely right now the best one for a level 5 that I've tried. Um, and the the magic the magic defense that, um, uh, what's her name, Fem, oh, not Femme Fatale, but uh, Ethereal Guide brings, it's also really good. So, okay, the Demon Slayer thing is not working as great as I thought. Um, yeah. Ooh, they, she, they're really going for Ethereal right here. My goodness, it's just her life leech is so good. But, yeah, they're really they're really going for Ethereal Guide right now. But that's not bad, to be fair. Ethereal Guide stays alive fairly well, so kudos to that life leech. It's just, it's just not enough damage. And she's about to go down anyway right there. Hmm. I honestly feel like the best comp easily is the, the Cursed Hunter one. 
Um, so take him out, take him out, and go Curse Hunter, Fem or Fem Fatale. And even though Fem Fatale will probably die, yeah, that's that's so much better. That's a 0.5% increase. And if you look at the uh, the battle, let's see. Hmm. I just I just don't want if there's a way to like shield Femme Fatale or like get her life leech up or something that would be great but I fear that it would be it would just be too much but this is this is honestly not too bad it's it's not a bad comp um, I just wish we had like a more physical healer where yeah their damage isn't gonna be like a lot but they'll heal. I feel like that would also be really good and something where we have been missing because we certainly have. Um, Femme Fatale is staying decently up right now though. Maybe it'll heal itself enough to... So, okay, it's actually staying up a decent... Wow. So maybe as you go, they start doing enough damage to, to where Femme Fatale won't go down. As you get the, the, uh, the damage bonus. That's actually really interesting. Um, and then the other, the other, who else should I try here? Because there's really no one else. Grove Guardian, I think he lowers magic some, or no, he silences. I don't think he actually lowers. Let me see. Physical, physical, poisons, and yeah, it only silences, but that's not going to be helpful here. So, um, this might just be the go-to level 5 comp. Now, it would be kind of interesting to see if I take out Ethereal Guide. Because, again, Ethereal Guide does decent damage. But she's there to mitigate the magic damage that you take. But if you take her out and add somebody like Scarlet Bolt to lower defense more. Let's see how that goes. And see if Femme Fatale can stay up. Or if not, 2.2. I don't think that's any better. 2.2 compared to 2.3. Yeah, it went down. So probably somebody died. That's the only explanation that I would have. So without Ethereal Guide, I feel like they're just it's just going to be doing way too much damage to keep everybody up. Oh my god. Yeah, look at this. Ethe I feel like Ethereal Guide is going to be a must for this hero or this monster. It just does too, way too much damage. Um, so I'm sure it's probably going to take out um, Femme Fatale here for sure. Let's see. I mean, because right now I'm doing decent damage and they're staying up. But will it be sustainable? That's the thing. Mm, so far, so good. No, no. Yeah, never mind. Like I was going to say so far, so good. But yeah, without Ethereal Guide, Femme Fatale doesn't live. And if, if you lose a hero for over 10, 12 seconds... That's too much that you're losing compared to... And, and then plus Femme Fatale does... Uh, or not Femme Fatale, but Ethereal Guy does a really decent amount of damage anyway. So I think that the comp that I am most comfortable with right now is for sure the Curse Hunter Femme Fatale one. Because um, I'm going to try it again and just see how it goes. Let's see. 2.5, yeah. And the survivability is just so much better. Let's see. And honestly, I don't know if Curse Hunter is really making any sort of difference with her heal. I really don't. Um, so maybe I'll take out Curse Hunter and maybe add Death Archer or not. Or um, I don't know. We'll try without Curse Hunter to see if Curse Hunter is also crucial for keeping femme fatale up because her heal isn't always going to femme fatale so i don't know we'll see though we'll see right now femme fatale is looking kind of rough but see femme fatale would have gone down right there if it wasn't for all the damage mitigation that i that i have coming in so hmm. so a couple of things we've learned black crow femme fatale demon slayer and ethereal guide are pretty much a must um, I don't know how I feel about Curse Hunter yet. Let me see if maybe taking her out and add somebody like who, um, maybe, maybe Scarlet. Let's see. So it goes to 2.6. 
So that's more, but it's not that much more. It's definitely more, but it's hard to say if it's just because it's better or because of the damage boost that you get from attacking over and over. But the biggest thing here is survivability. If you take out Curse Hunter, will Femme Fatale still be able to survive the damage? Let's see. She has been doing okay. So I guess this is going to be the real test. Ooh, that's getting close, but she's okay now. She's okay now. There's gonna come a time where there's gonna be a huge damage, right? Probably pretty soon, actually. Ooh, here it is. There it is. Ah, that's so close. That's dangerously close. But she is surviving. Will she be able to keep it up, though? She Okay, she did. So maybe Curse Hunter isn't a must... So, yeah, I feel like the last slot is probably the one where you can probably experiment for, uh, for a good portion of it. So, instead of Scarlet Bolt, I'm going to try uh, Master Cook. Even though Master Cook isn't really... Um, I, first of all, mine is not gold. But maybe, um, instead of the, the defense reduction that it brings, maybe Master Cook and his, uh, his damage would actually be better overall. But, yeah... Let's let's take a look. Let's see. Two point eight. That's not bad. I mean, the progression is pretty good. So let's see how this turned out. The reason I also use Master Cook over somebody like Tracker, like I keep saying, is because the reason Tracker is pretty much unusable on these level fives is because oh my god, oh, hold on, Femme Fatale, what's going on? Uh, it's because she has no way of healing herself. She relies on somebody else to heal. It, to heal. Um, whereas all these other heroes, as you can tell, they're healing. They're they're healing every time they attack. So that's one of the great things about it. Um, but honestly, for a level five, I feel like there's pretty much four goes to: Fem Fatale, Demon Slayer, Black Crow, and Ethereal Guide. The last one you can kind of play around with, um, depending on the damage they do. But those those first four are definitely a core. Um, obviously, the lower you go, the less damage it's going to do to you. Ooh, this one, they got a little close. Uh, so, like, if you're hunting a level 2, level 3, maybe you won't have to worry so much about the damage output they do. Just because, I mean, you're not going to take enough damage to actually go down. So, the lower level uh, monster that you're hunting, the less you have to worry about. Because their damage isn't going to be as high as a level 5. But yeah, look at this. 2.9. That's not bad. Hmm. So now that we've pretty much seen how most of this stuff go. I want to try a couple of combinations just to see the difference. So we got 2.9. 3.3. That was a noticeable jump. 2.9 to 3.3. Even though you do get the increased damage. That was very noticeable. 3.3. Now I'm kind of... Because Death Archer did a really good amount of damage. Now I kind of want to change him up just to see if it still fluctuates. Let's see. 3.2. So he went down with another buff. So... Huh. Maybe Death Archer might be the go-to for the last one. Let's see if it keeps that going. 3.4. Oh, guys, that is that is a huge difference. Death Archer might be the way. Okay, but let me just make sure that this is going to be... Remember, with this hit, this is going to be another percentage added to the Monster Hunt damage. So let's take a look. 3.7. Oh, yeah, Death Archer for sure. But, but... Now that we know that Death Archer is actually really freaking good at this, I'm going to keep trying out other other heroes just to see. We know for sure that Tracker is a bust. Let's see Trickster. 4.11. So Trickster's not bad, but I'm sure that the Death Archer one, two hits ago, yeah. So Trickster is not terrible, but I feel like Death Archer is really the way to go. There was one other one that I wanted to try. Which one was it? Uh... Her. Let's see how much she does. 4.3. 
which is also not bad. So yeah, I mean, like I said, the last hero is the one that you kind of got to play around with, but I want to try Death Archer again just to see if it's still noticeable jump. 4.8, oh yeah. No, she's definitely doing more damage than everybody else. So, okay. In conclusion, this is the team that I am recommending for the moment. This is the level 5 team for sure. Um, just off of just random testing and keeping in mind that every time you hit, the damage is going to increase. There's no denying that Death Archer, when you added her in as the 5th, is doing just way more damage than everybody else. Easily. By 0.5. Now, 0.5, you might not... Look at that. 5.1? These are jumps that are pretty high. So, yeah. That's the lineup I would suggest. Maybe when people go out and test some more, they'll, they might have different results. But this is the lineup I'm for sure going with. Um, what do I need to finish this off? Uh, I'm doing, what, 5%? So, I need, I need a times 8. I need a times 8. Oops. Times eight. That's. Is my max a times eight? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. So this should take it out. There it is. So yeah, this is for sure the team that I'm recommending right here. Let me go see the the last little bit of the battle. But yeah, Death Archer was very very impressive was outperforming pretty much everybody else i don't know if um since my master cook is at uh blue i don't know if that makes a huge difference but considering how it all scales blue to gold isn't such an insane amount of crazy difference it's a difference for sure there's no denying that but i don't think it's a 0.5 percent difference but um like i said i'm sure there's going to be other people that are going to be testing more themselves and seeing how everything works but for right now after this testing right here, and from hearing what other people have been saying, I feel like this is the go-to team right here. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. This is this is the one. And look at that. Femme Fatale, is, it's fine. It's, it's staying up fine. Ethereal God is a must for her damage mitigation. Without the damage mitigation, your heroes are going to die. So, yeah. That's it. That's, that's the team. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, if you have a different team, let me know. Post it in the chat, uh, or I guess in the comments. Um, that way I can try it out myself and see if, uh, if I for sure like that team better or not. But this is the one right now. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Like I said, appreciate you guys for watching. And until later.